YouTube another quick video I'm gonna install a uh, hitch adapter on my bumper and also uh, install a uh, bicycle mount this bumper okay. construction it's pretty good it's welded in most bumpers I heard it has 100 pounds capacity here it is I uh, slid the uh, spare tire all the way to the left next to the uh, ladder right there and I don't see anything wrong uh, having the spare tire like this to make room for the uh, hitch adapter so let me see step right here and right there no issue so I'll be okay let me climb down it's fine. Okay, let's do a dry fit. Right. I think we'll be okay. Take a look at that. This tire ring right here, the holder, this will go right here. And this thing right here will go to the back. And that will push this out. And this ring, it actually clears the tires already. So even if the uh, bicycle tire goes all the way right here, it would not matter. Go ahead and uh, line it up right here. Hang tight. I'm installing it this way so I have more clearance, ground clearance. Right there, washer lock washer this. something to think about your bicycle ought to be uh, one of those lightweight ones the reason for it is that the uh, static weight capacity of the bumper is 100 pounds and as you know if your vehicle is moving uh, the dynamic weight is way different and there's greater force applied to it I installed it uh, upside down uh, give it more ground clearance and also uh, weight will be on the travel trailer. The other thing you need to worry about is the torque, right? The twisting. Our bikes are lightweight, so we should be okay. Hang tight, I'll mount the uh, Swagman bike rack. Here it is, fully mounted. Let me know what you think of it. Will it hold? There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe. Click that notification bell. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more installs on this uh, travel trailer. So for now, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much.